Hello there everyone, my name is Silver with you here, so just a more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicle X! Oh god, it's been a long time. Last episode, we've... Uh, what we do? Yes, we did finish Chapter 6, and now I'm starting off in the Blade Barracks. I know this is a little bit weird, because usually I'm not there at the beginning of the episode. Now, sometimes I did, but most of the times I don't, if it's not a main story chapter mission. And I'm doing this because as the end of the main story... Uh, Chapter mission basically you always get uh, you know screens at the end telling you what's new what you've accomplished at the end of that specific chapter and as you can see on screen right now uh, it's pretty fucking exciting we'll actually get a scale for ourselves today which is amazing so it's pretty self-explanatory all I got to do is go right in front of Venom and uh, you'll start the mission right Away. Talk about being excited. God damn, I'm so jacked. What jacked? Nah. Hey there. Are you uh, siddling? All right, getting used to life as a blade. Uh, well, it's kind of. Nah, it's kind of becoming second nature to me. I'd say. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Uh, I know you've been through that damn uh, regular lately, but you're still doing good work. Anything to ask me about? Any worries or requests? No need to hold back. I'm in a good mood today. <coughs> so your head will probably stay on your shoulders, which is great. It's only natural for a commander to want to keep tabs with its people, right? I guess so. Makes sense. So come on, lay it on me. Okay, so can I either talk about having a bigger award? Talk about scale or say that we're firing our Are you fucking kidding me? Scales, goddammit! Give me scales! Oh, God damn it! That's right, I forgot you didn't have one. Oh wait, you don't even have a scale license, do you? Whoops, sorry about that. Oversight on my part. You need a license to pile up a scale, see? We only issue them to Blade with a proven track record. This way, we know that there's scales to make use of them. Ah, oh, God damn it! Given your track record, I'm tempted to issue you all right now. But I ain't saying they're an operating procedure. Wouldn't be fair to others, you know? Whew. But clear the license exam, and it's all. Fucking yours. God damn it. Yes! This is the scale license summary. Pass exam from each of the divisions to uh, to earn your scale license. I almost said acquire it and I almost fucked it up. I didn't quite do that. I don't know where I was going with this. Uh, let us accept this mission. And look at that. We're, we're not that. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through it. Let's get a mission. We get another one. And we get another one. And then we get another one. And then we get another one. And then we get another one. And finally, we get another one. That's a lot of fucking missions if I do for say so myself. But it is what it is. And yes, those are legitimately eight different mission types we had to take care of. That's gonna be worrying after a while. Okay. Then once you pass the final exam, you'll officially be a scout pilot. Pretty exciting, yeah? Ha! <laughs> sure it is. Uh, but getting you in a scout will be good news for us. Blades too. I got high hopes for you. Good luck. Well, thank you, Van Am. That's pretty exciting of you. Whenever we already completed a mission, proficiency exam number 8, which is complete any of one of those three missions. I completed two out of three of them, so that's pretty solid. Just complete one and you'll be fine, basically. So, do that and you're good to go. And, uh... What is the peep squeak? I don't remember doing this mission actually. The hell is this about? Anyway, oh, also proficiency exam number one. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what's this one about? Uh, install the. Oh, okay, it's for the uh, the pathfinder. So just need to decide. From that, we have already completed two out of the eighth, and there are a few ones that are fairly easy to get. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose our next uh, objective, and I'll talk you back. Okay, so I decided to go with proficiency exam number two. Alright, so to spare the time, all we need to do is hunt some uh, Blitz Blotza. And uh, I want to spare you as much as possible because this is going to take a while, so... Just repeat this process for 12 Blotas and you're fine. So, spared you that much. Anything I can help, you know? Oh, I've also completed proficiency exam number six, which is... Oh, just get a lot of credits. Like I have 10 times that amount that I require, that I acquire from Frontier now. That's ridiculous. Anyway, on to the next exam. Uh, sparing you as much as possible. 
Okay, there we go. That took a while for him to spawn. He's like, this... Basically, you need to fight this iron to get the new a proficiency exam, and, um... Yeah, this guy only has a very rare appearance. Anyway, shot... Chuck it to the, the flash. I don't know how you want to say it. Here's it, Spyo! It's, uh, it's a tire. Now, as per usual, guess what I'm about to say? It's a pretty run of the mill tire. And once again, it's, it's just that. <sighs> he has buffed up stats, he has interesting attacks, and it's one of the first uh, Xiphias that we're gonna fight along our journey. And. It's just that this thing is just not very interesting to fight to begin with. Uh, if only because at your level and at your leisure you should have no problem. I have a very, very under leveled uh, member of my team and I'm still gonna think this no problem. Even though this is considered to me uh, a large enemy, it, it's still very, very easy to take on. And as you'll see later on, it's just... I don't know what the fuck's up with low... Uh, not very challenging tyrants at the beginning of the game, although I perfectly understand why it's the case, especially with this one in particular, just because you want something that's not very, um, well, that's challenging, but not too much of a hassle, especially at this point in the game, because this is one of the, if you want to scale, you basically have to go for this thing, and you want to deal, and you want to just ease your player into what a tyrant is, especially higher level ones, and this is a very easy way to just fight a, a, a tyrant, since it is, in quote, uh, uh, in parentheses, uh, obligatory. It, it's basically a forced tyrant on you, even though it's not, but if you want to have an easier time in your game, you have to fight it. And I understand, once again, I understand why it's easier than others, it's just that, at the same time, it's like, dude, just, this is not challenging, and I don't understand why it's this way, just, Fucking maybe make this a little more challenging. Fights at this point in the game are not very interesting. And once again, you have a lot of mechanics to learn and how you deal with them. God damn, he's far away. Okay, just assemble. I don't want you to go take a swim. And uh, yeah, just I don't like it very much. I don't like it very much. We're gonna deal with that for quite a bit. Oh, I'm the only one alive now. Well, he's almost dead anyway, so it really shouldn't be that much of a problem. More hours. In our front, should not have any trouble. Uh, let's just go and chain a combo and do our, our famous Talent Duster. She's gonna fall with Rondo, Starfall Blade, and let's go for Starlight Duster. And there we go, he's dead. Proficiency exam number three completed. That was easy, wouldn't you say? Let's just make sure we get all of our things and let's get moving to our next proficiency exam. I love jumping from a high ledge. Basically, the next exam is pretty simple. Just go to the specific location, in Octonum, salvage this part, and there you go. You got the solar uh, starship map. Should be pretty easy. On to the next one. Okay, there we go. And now, the next one's a bit more... not confusing, just a bit more annoying. What you gotta do for this one is you gotta collect a unique item. However, the item is pretty fucking painful to get. All you gotta do is uh, go to the lake region of Oblivia and collect materials in the early morning or during the rain. And you need to get three of them. And it's a unique material. So, I recommend just going to a base camp, just setting yourself to the earliest of morning or giving you a bit of leeway, then go to the specific location on Dorian Caravan and you should have no trouble getting those specific items just like I did. Thankfully it didn't took me any time to get them and I'm very lucky because of so. Anyway, that's pretty much it. And I think we're up to our last proficiency exam next. That's pretty exciting. Hey, Taller! Seems like you are our final challenge. Greetings! You must be the one undergoing the scale examination. I work with the outfitters in product testing. I have three weapons for you today. You will use one of them to hunt indigents. Remote weapon usage monitoring is a crucial source for data for our manufacturers. Your cooperation in this process is most appreciated. Well, thank you very much. So now we gotta... I gotta change my class too. God damn it, fine, I'll do it. Anyway, just gotta hunt 
three giant Grex. Okay, that's not too bad. With only one of the weapons. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Let me just change my equipment real quick. All right, I'm sparing you basically the hunting. But if you want to know where giant Grexes are, they're here in Primordia. And there we go. We've completed it. Now, as you can see, I, I didn't complete any object, uh, all objectives, but it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is complete any of one of these objectives, which makes the thing a hell of a lot easier, and it's very, very, very welcome. Anyway, let's go back to Hangar. All right, looks like we're done here. Walter, Walter, Walter White! Give us the thing we desire. Commander Vandom told me you'd be stopping by to take a scale license exam. Do you have the certification for the 8 proficiency exam? Well, there you go. Yep, looks like a full set. Nice work. We're ready for the final exam. Oh god. No need to stress though, it's a simple verbal quiz. We had a run mission from each of the 8 divisions, and there's a reason for that. Care to guess what it might be? Well, I mean, it's pretty simple to do. <laughs> Now we won't joke about this, it's a pretty simple thing to do, it's just to better understand each of the divisions within Blade. Exactly, now you get a feeling for one, uh, for each of one particular slaver, hopefully that's given a few ideas on how you can put the skill to use. Anyway, that's one reason, but there's another. There aren't exactly enough skills to go around on for all the divisions, sometimes situation arises where people have to cross division lines and cooperate to get things done. For efficiency's sake, it's important that everyone knows how the other division works. Make sense? Yeah, it's pretty fucking simple. Good, they are weird. then we are clear on how to operate scale. I'll authorize your license now. Also, I get to show some good news. Looks like you've been given a free scale, a compliment's abandoned. Oh, it's parked in the hangar in the back. Go introduce yourself and give it a test ride. How about that? Well, I won't provoke you. That's such a dumb thing to do. Thank you. Just doing my own job, really. Venom is the one you should be thanking. He must expect big things from you. It's your rare day for Rookie Pound to get issued with the free scale of charge. I look forward to seeing what you do with it. Like, slay dozen dozens of creature? Thank you a lot, Walter. I'm so fucking pumped. Anyway, let's get our skill. The scale license mission completed. So the results: you've obtained this, your scale license and, le and learned more about each of the, the individual. Fuck, Doug! Shut up! I know how to register a scale. That's why I'm fucking here, you idiot. Ah, achievement locks keys to the scale. Oh yeah, baby. That's like ya. Uh, oh god. Oh, if there's anything that makes me excited in this game, it's actually driving a scale. This thing is, uh... Whew! I kinda love it a lot. Oh, I may have a boner right now. But look at this! It's not only just the mech, it's also a vehicle, goddammit! It's... Ah! Uh, it's so... It moves so fast moving through areas. is so much easier now. I may have a big boner. I do have a big boner, I'm not gonna lie. Just... Look how fast we went to the commercial district! Oh my god! Oh, it jumps so high! It jumps so high! Look at it, it's so fucking cool! Anyway, how about we go slay some monsters with our new toys? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little time to pimp our ride, and uh, we'll fast forward. I'll fast forward you to see the process of it, and then we'll go tyrants hunting. See you guys in a bit.
All right, so where the hell is it? The bloody... They're supposed... There's supposed to bloody be a tyrant around here. Where? The... The hell? I thought it was one over here. That's... Oh, okay. It just spawned. Oh. That's... That's weird. Okay, whatever. Anyway, people. Uh, let's start our fight with Go Googly the Relentless. Now, this... There are many tyrants that could have taken much, much earlier on, but, you know, what they say, no I, I don't know what they say, anyway, let's start off with Ghouli the Relentless, uh, once again, yes, what I'm about to say, this is a pretty regular time, not much to say, although he does have a lot of health, as, uh, per, uh, Megaton the Hell Express, which is also another Suic Tyrant, if I remember correctly, anyway, let's see our first use of Skill Combat, now, Skill Combat is, uh, fairly different from on foot combat. Not only as you can see that you have much more mobility and uh, ground to cover, uh, you... the way you don't have a secondary cooldown when doing this. Of course, I'm gonna go over every single little thing as we move along, but when you're on foot, you usually have two charges. One charge to activate the art and then another one to boost its effect, either by uh, having a uh, an immediate reuses or uh, having higher hit scaling or something along those lines. Scales doesn't have that. You just reuse hearts as much as possible, and there's a lot of mechanics that can potentially help you to do that, although I think that scale finding has been far less refined than other mechanics in this game, especially when it comes to com uh, on-foot combat. However, for what it is, it's pretty fucking fun, I mean, there are many mechanics mechanics and once again I'll talk about in due time but as of now we don't have much time all you need to know is that we deal so much damage look at that it's just fucking beautiful usually with a uh, like an assault rifle you do like two, 10 points of damage we deal 30 with each bullet babies and it's uh we're not even comboing that much we can deal so much damage I love scale fighting it's very simple, and if you want to just power through most things in this game, it's it's wonderful for this. It's not the greatest thing in some occasions, but it truly is fucking wonderful. And as you'll see later on, we can we can truly wreck some stuff. Anyway, that was Giggly the Relentless. Talk about an underwhelming fight, and that's not it. Although you may say, well, well we slain quite a lot. That's not right. We need to slay more. So, our second Tyrant of the Day, if I can get it to appear, I've been saying this phrase for like 30 minutes now. And, oh, thank God it appeared now. Our second Tyrant of the Day is Assalta, Sapara the Laconic. That is, uh, what is the Laconic of the Minute? That's kind of strange. Anyway, let's start off at with Sapara the Laconic. I'm still kind of uh, bothered by what that thing actually means. Anyway, once again, guess what? It's a fairly not decent, uh, not interesting, just power up version of a normal song. Then. There's really nothing that much interesting about it. However, we get into a mechanic now that I'm gonna explain. Uh, once you're in scale combat, you, as far as I'm aware of, they may be always to topple an enemy, but it's not the focus of it. The main thing you want to do when you're in scale finding a large enemy, uh, or even a medium one, is you want to try and stagger it. Now, why would you want to stagger an enemy? Well, when you do so, if I can get it to work, uh, you can basically go in something that's called a bind, a binding process. And once you go into a binding process, that basically means that your enemy cannot and simply won't move. You basically have complete control of how... Uh, how you deal with that with the specific enemy, and uh, it cannot move, it cannot attack for a certain period of time. We have a certain quick time event uh, approaching on screen, as you can see right now. So what I need to do is just press B at the right time from a quick time event, from there I keep it in stasis. And only that, but I regain a lot of fuel by doing so. As you can see, my fuel gauge was going up, so it means that any attack and any fuel I've uh, displaced while using arts or by uh, just being mobile in combat is completely nullified because I regain so much fuel during that specific attack. Anyway, we're done with uh, Sapporo and uh, we just gotta take care of its henchmen and uh, we'll be good. 
and it's just binding if you're fighting a large enemy is crucial. So, if I were you in scale combat, I always say have a staggering art. If you do, that's gonna make your combat much more easier because enemies are also weakened in that state, making sure that if you have allies, those allies can take care of that and thus making the battle a lot more easier, if I do say so myself. Uh, because you can get a lot of pot shots from this, especially when fighting extremely large enemies like Miles or something along these lines, which we'll do at one point or another. Anyway, just going against uh, Jewel Salt out here, and uh, that should be the last of it, unless there's another one. Is this one? But he's already dead, so. Also, there's something, there's another overdrive, but, you know, we'll just wait in due time for to talk of. Uh, for us to talk about it. Anyway, we've taken care of everything I wanted to do. Looks like we got some pretty nice rewards, and I'm gonna end it here. Unfortunately, we've done way too much as of now, and I said that getting scalp was pretty important as it is. So, I'm gonna end it here. God damn it, alarm. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Omega Three, and I'll see you all next time. That was weird. <laughs>